Hello dear viewers and students. I hope you are doing great and having good health. And this video is the sixth video of the series of periodic table tutorials. So in this video, I want to give you some idea regarding some special names of some groups in this periodic table. And I hope you also know it because uh, if you read this chapter earlier, that you might have some understanding about some special names of these elements. Like there are some six special names that I have written that it's also available in your book. And of course, you know this periodic table. Earlier in my previous class, I explained a little bit about it. So you know that in this periodic table, we have seven periods and 18 groups. And there are different, different groups which have some special features and characteristics like that. In alkali metals, if you know that alkali metals, these are the group one metals, you'll see Except hydrogen, there are six metals in group number one, and these are actually the lithium, lithium, uh, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium. So without hydrogen, these six metal is known as alkali metal. So group one is known as alkali metal because these are soluble in water and when it dissolves in water it produces hydrogen ion and it produces alkali so as it produces alkali and as it is a metal that is why these groups elements called the alkali metals so the group number one is known as alkali group so alkali metals group and then the group number two so the alkali metal is actually the group number one so in case of earth alkaline metals, this is actually the group number 2. And you see that in group number 2, there are 6 elements. That is beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium and radium. So you know that this beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, radium. These 6 elements of group 2 they know they, they, they are called the earth alkaline metals because these are the metals as you know that group number 1 group number 2 group number 3 they are metals and then this group number 2 is found in earth and as as the similar properties like in in uh, group number 1 they are called uh, earth alkaline metals as they are found in earth in some compounds they are uh, in earth so that is why it produces H plus ions and also alkali when it dissolves with water that is why it's called earth alkaline metal and now you must know about the coin metals in ancient age uh, it was used in trading and commerce these coins and these are made up about group number 11 so you see in group number 11 there are four metals that is copper, silver, gold, and bronze and silver. So these elements, like copper, silver, gold, and bronze and silver, is used in production of coin. So you know that coin is using, still using, in case of you know trading and business and commerce section. So as it is coin, which is made of this metal, that is why this metal is known as coin metal. Then halogens group. This is very important. You know that this is actually group number 17. And there are six elements in group number 17 is fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, astatine, and tennessine. So these six elements is known as halogen because it produces from the salt and oceans. So as it is producing from oceans, it's called halogens. When it uses in any sort of like hydrogens so it will produce that hydrogen fluoride hydrogen chloride hydrogen bromide or even any metals it acting with this group number 17 then it produces salt like if sodium is added with fluorine then sodium fluoride sodium chloride sodium bromide sodium iodide so these are the halogens which is producing from oceans and it produces salt when it acts with metal so how many elements are there in halogen we have six and these are actually fluorine chlorine bromine iodine acetine and tennessine 
So these six elements, these are called halogens. And if you see that inert gas, this is actually the group number 18 as because these are the gaseous elements and they do not, they usually do not share or accept or donate electrons as because the outermost shell is filled up with eight electrons. So as following the octet rules, they are stable, their electron configurations are stable. So usually they do not share, they do not prepare any bonds with any other elements and that is why they are called the inert gas or novel gas. And hence we have eight, helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon and organization. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven actually, seven elements which is actually inert gas. So we have helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon and organization. So these elements are called the inert gas or the novel gas as because they do not share, they do not accept or they do not donate any electrons for preparing a bond or so that is why they are called inert gas and lastly very important elements these are called the transitional elements or transition elements and they are say from group number 3 to group number 12 these are actually the transition element and I need to upload another video on these transition elements because I need to explain more about it because only saying that group number 3 to group number 12 are the transition elements is not enough because they do have some characteristics they do have some interesting properties like they prepare like colorful compounds and of course they also prepare some ligands and what are the insides of these elements i need another videos to upload it more elaborately and descriptively so i think i shall upload another videos on that so on these videos you just know that group number three to group number 12 are the transition elements scandium but of course when i explain you see that scandium are not transition element zinc is not transition elements because it has some characteristics that which elements are transitions it has some it has some characteristics and properties that I'll explain it more. So in this video, I want to give you some special names that alkaline metals. So alkaline metals are group one. Earth alkaline metals are group two. Coin metals are group eleven. Halogens group are group number seventeen. Inert gas are group number eighteen. And the transition elements in most that group number three to group number twelve. So I hope you understand that spatial names. Why it's called spatial names, and what are the elements are under the spatial names. So I hope you understand that what is earth alkaline, what is alkaline, what is inert gas, what is transition elements, what is coin metals, and what is actually the halogens. So I hope you understand these things and of course I'm coming with the next videos regarding the transition elements. See you on the next class. Stay well, stay blessed. Bye.